All right, so I'm uh, going to do a little bit of a new technique now. So something that's always been very hard to clarify is fresh ginger because ginger has starch in it. So I'm going to make a little bit of a ginger vodka, and we're going to see if we can't get it clarified using a new uh, ingredient that was brought to my attention by my friend Garrett Richards at uh, Garrett Richard at um, Sunken Harbor Bar. So that's just juiced ginger. As you can see, it's super cloudy. Uh, and like I said, because ginger juice has starch in it, it's hard to clarify it unless you cook it or if you just slice it and infuse it, but that really alters the flavor and we don't want to do that. So that's uh, about 112 of uh, ginger. Let's see how much uh, vodka I'm going to put into it. This is going to be strong. So that's like 350 plus 100. So we're at like 450 all day. So this is an ingredient called magnesium carbonate, and it's not soluble in the, uh, in, the, in the alcohol or in the water. What it does is, is it actually acts as a settling agent. So it's just going to let stuff kind of drop down, and it's going to end up in the rotor. You want to add about 2%. So since this is about 400 mils, we're going to add about 8 grams. And it looks like you're adding a lot because this stuff has almost no weight to it. It's one of the uh, it's one of the lightest uh, ingredients. Uh, it's almost like if you've ever used uh, Enzorbit uh, tapioca maltodextrin, it's like almost that light. Right. And because ginger also has um, pectin and whatnot, you're still going to want to add a little bit, I'm not even going to measure it, of your Pectin X Ultra SPL. A little bit, a little dab. And then we're just going to, you don't want to over blend this because the idea here, you don't want to pulverize the magnesium carbonate. You just want to get it fully distributed. I'm not doing that. The blender has its own decisions about what it wants to do. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this sit in the rotor for about five minutes, five to eight minutes to let the enzyme do its work. You have to give the enzyme time to do its work. Uh, first of all, you don't want your products cold because when they're cold, the enzyme's gonna work slower, not too hot either, right? Uh, but you need to give it some time. So we're gonna give this like five, 10 minutes to let the enzyme really do its job. All right, so we've let the ginger vodka sit for about 10 minutes for the enzyme to do its work, and now we're ready to spin. Remember, when you're spinning liquor, I like to keep this uh, cover on just to prevent um, excess evaporation of precious, precious alcohol. Start spinning. Come back. Five minutes. All right. So it's been five, six minutes. Turn off the unit. Let it come down. And we're going to look at our uncooked, hopefully clarified, ginger vodka. Now, I had a lot of ginger to it, so this is gonna be like a mule, not like, you know, a little bit of ginger. This is like so much ginger, I'm actually nervous to taste it. Now, the magnesium carbonate that we added should make the, the starch go down into a pretty solid puck, but anytime you're working with starch, it's good to be very careful so you don't kick up extra starch because it, it only takes a little bit of energy to knock that starch back into the liquid again and make it less uh, clear. So I'm going to be gentle with it, more gentle than normal. And I'd say that is a raging success for uh, ginger juice. This is beautiful. I can see the bottom of the glass through it. Uh, and this, if you carbonated it, I can tell by the color of it with the ginger that this would be uh, like, oh my God, that's so much ginger. That's so much ginger. This is like, if you were to make like a mule with this, this would be like, 
mule on mule on mule. If someone says, do you have spicy ginger? You'd be like, yeah. Yeah, I do. Uh, you could cut this literally four to one and have a, enough ginger for it to be a very decent uh, mule cocktail along with your clarified lime juice, but this is quite lovely and clean. And uh, the first time that we've successfully clarified an uncooked starch. Thanks.